busway straight links with top and bottom facing the same direction next use a hoist to raise the busway to place of installation connect the busway to the supporting hangers it's best to remove the plastic wrapper before installation slide busway links together end to end Use a joint assembly tool to slide joints together. Ensure there is proper surface contact at the joints. Make sure that the outer tie channel holes are spaced 340 millimeters apart. Tighten to visit titty bolts. Use a leveling tool to ensure the busway is level. Make adjustments as needed. Place the protective covers on the top and the bottom. Then put the protective cover on and tighten the bolts to 60 to 80 feet pounds of torque. And then put the tie channel on and tighten the tie channel bolts to 12 to 15 feet pounds of torque. Ensure the rubber plug is properly tightened on the bottom cover. 
Depending upon the joint's configuration, place the top cover L1, L2, and L3 on the top side of the joint. Elbow fitting to elbow fitting, use plate marked L1 elbow fitting to straight. Use plate marked L2 straight to straight, use plate marked L3. Repeat the process with the next section of the busway system. Protect the busway ends with the temporary plastic sheet, bag, or waterproof cover provided by our company. This is to prevent water falling into the non-completed busway joints. If there is an elbow that's needed for installation, you can pre-assemble some parts. Before joining the sub-assembly, use the Megger to check the installation integrity of each phase. Slide the busways together. Tighten the visitity bolt. Then put the protective cover on after removing the protective cover from the sealants on the center edge of the duct side. Tighten the bolts and then put the tie channels on. Tighten the tie channel bolts. Lift the completed pre-assembled one into the position. Slide into the previous piece. Then install the protective cover and tie channel. Use a leveling tool to ensure the whole subway system is level. Make adjustments as needed. Use the same process to install the vertical part of the system. Lastly, connect the system to the flanged end. Make sure the flanged end is leveled and make adjustments before tightening the last visitity bolt. Check the insulation integrity of each phase again. Square D offers a complete line of protection. IP66 IP54, 55, and 65 and IP41 and 40.